Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 3 of my Serie A jersey review. Uh, the CD team in this one is Atalanta. Uh, and if you want to know how I determined these seeds, I'll refer mostly to the first video, first part of the um, Serie A jersey review. But basically I went through last year's table, grouped them in four and you know, the top four teams are distributed over the videos and that's why the third video is that will be headed by the third place team. And since I ordered alphabetically, we actually also start with La Dea from, from Bergamo. And Atalanta is still with Homa. And they get a pretty classic looking Atalanta home kit, has to be said. Black and blue with a slight more emphasis on the blue. I said it to um, colleagues. Since I'm a Milan fan, this color combination for me is always a weird one to look at uh, and take it <laughs> with, you know, from a neutral point of view. I mean, if I have it even here somehow on there. Uh, but yeah, it is for Atalanta pretty nice. I actually like that the main accent is blue instead of black. Uh, that gives it a nice touch. Does the crest need to be centered? This is what I've been asking myself because it leaves this left side empty. I think that would be better if the crest would move uh, here. It's kind of funny that I'm talking with the jersey where the crest is of course centered. But you know, everything else is centered too here. So it makes a little bit more sense. Um, but overall, it's a strong look. There is a slight pattern in there, like a horizontal pattern that gives some structure to the two stripes, but it also runs counter. But still, it's a strong group uh, look. I like that the sponsor uh, just is in a very white on there. And for that, yeah, it's eight and a half. Let's give it nine stars because I really liked it. For the away jersey, uh, they take a different. Um, crest this has been used in the 80s where you see the goddess Atalanta just running around and that's it a uh, nice nod to the past I also like that you know it's white you have the shoulder yoke in black with a little bit of blue the color is a tiny teeny bit odd um, I like the sleeve cuffs sponsor is maybe in black I wonder if it wouldn't have looked better in blue and note that you don't see this but on the inside of the tail you also have uh, the goddess running uh, it is a neat shirt uh, it's just not quite up there but I still think it is for eight stars Atalanta uses also the same logo and the same colors of that logo for their third jersey almost which is a hot mess. Again, I said it in part two, there's a lot of earthy colors where we saw a lot of khaki green. Uh, here it's more this really earth, uh, almost like tiger stripes, um, you know, brownish, blackish. It's a mess. Uh, you don't even see the logo because it's still the golden one. Um, the best things are the accents. I think if you make this in white, you have a perfect away jersey. Uh, I'm sure there will be a white sponsor on it. Uh, doesn't make it look much better. So for that reason, I don't like this one. This is a three-star jersey. It's ridiculous. I probably will see it in the Champions League and by that time I, I have a better picture when I do my Champions League jersey review. Moving on to Lecce, who has their own brand, M908. Uh, I think they were with Legea and then they switched to their own brand. And of course, they. this is the promotion pictures where they took some locally girls models world whatever to present uh, them the home jersey of course is the um, uh, yellow and red striped one which looks pretty cool i think the best part is a little bit hidden by the locks of the girl you have the shoulder yoke uh, that's outlined that maybe is a little bit odd i have to say uh, but still i think overall they look nice i actually like the ledger crest it's really nice with the navy and you just have a little bit in there um cannot fault it much isn't my favorite jersey no uh, i would give the home jersey a seven star the away jersey i think is the white one and they do something really interesting you it's not your typical look. You have all these specks in uh, red and yellow in there, which give it a very interesting uh, twist. I actually like this one a lot. Um, even that the color is 
I don't like asymmetric calls, but I think in this case I'm totally fine with it and I'll give this. Um, Hmm. Yeah, let's see. We still uh, just just with eight stars, but I was going. I was thinking even higher. Uh, and to me, the best jersey is almost the third jersey because it takes the. I like blue jerseys, you know that, and especially dark blue. But here you have all types of blues. It's kind of the wave, you know. Lecce is a, a town, I think, at the sea. It's a port town, so that makes a whole lot of sense. You see, kind of the scene there, and then even that the shorts uh, have this pattern makes it even better. Then you have a little speck with the club colors. You have it on the collar. That's a nine-star jersey. It's wonderfully beautiful. Uh, really gotta say, Lecce, you created your own beautiful jerseys so uh, I'm really look, looking forward to watching Lecce this season a few times. Moving on to another favorite of mine that I don't have yet. This uh, There should be a Parma shirt by all rights because I think except for Milan and Roma I think I would like Parma above all the other teams here. So yep the one thing I do not get with Parma ever since they refounded they went to the 70s look with the black cross. Parma City's colors are yellow, blue, so yellow and blue. I really like this uh, white with the yellow and blue. I do not like this black cross and I do not like now that I know the story because they saw when you became how nice the black and white looks and then pff, we have a black and white cross. On the other side, the cross is a strong look uh, and it's done here quite well. Maybe I do not like that it goes so much into the collar that the collar is kind of an afterthought, even it being outlined a little bit. But you know, this is kind of the area collar now. It just takes the inset on the front. Think Iceland um, 2018. Um, the crest looks literally lost on there because it's the only thing that uses the city colors and you know you have jello blue on there and everything else is black and white which you know my favorite team found is Lasko, which is also black and white so i don't mind it per se um i just don't like it for parma to be honest i like that they put the sponsor logo in the center but it leaves a little bit much space uh here and i'm sure there will be another sponsor uh put there um, it is well composed. It's just not my favorite Parma look, but I think it's still strong enough for eight stars. My favorite Parma shirt now has been the away jersey because it uses actually the colors um, blue and yellow. I loved last year's jersey and I'm still looking forward to getting this one. This one is nice. I won't mind having it, but it's not my absolute fav favorite because it's a little bit too much blue and then the yellow is kind of with this uh whitish outline i think th they had a jersey in the early 2000s like that so uh they definitely take ex inspiration from that i'm also not so sure about the color on the front um and that we need the navy i think that i would have liked maybe a little bit more yellow in there it's a very colorful jersey in a way as i said i don't mind it per se but i think that last just looked a lot stronger this one is a little bit more yeah more run-of-the-mill, um, kind of in the six to seven star territory. Since I like Parma, I give this uh, seven stars. The third jersey is probably the most interesting one, as it was last year. But this one, I like it even better because you have this phoenix or this bird pattern in there on black. Uh, then with a lot, a lot of dots that make it a little bit messy. But it is interesting to look at per se. Again, the color is eh, forget about it. Um, but I think also we we'll see this probably most on the uh, goalkeepers. Uh, before I give it out, I note also that the crest is just an outline over the pattern, so it's kind of hiding away, uh, which might be smart in this case. Um, I think it's interesting enough for me to give it a 7 star rating, although it's not my favorite. I wouldn't necessarily want to have this. I think if I want to have a Parma jersey, I would like to have a white one with yellow and blue or like the last year's away jerseys, that, that style with really the horizontal banding uh, blue and yellow. Uh, but it's an interest trash one that would be an outside choice for me uh, sometime I might you know if my collection gets big enough then this would be an addition but I think it's a seven star jersey for that now to one of my favorite teams in Serie A and definitely one that has always been a favorite just church wise Roma the dark red with the 
Imperial with the yellow. Uh, it's just such a wonderful look. However, this year they're a little bit messy to me. First of all, the color, you just have this V on the front, which I guess they stole from Puma. A lot of stealing going on this year. I mean, Puma is so much influenced by Nike and then Nike a little bit from Puma. Uh, let this go around. Then you have this kind of flash pattern in there, which, yeah, yeah, is all right, but I, it just doesn't hit all the spots with me. Uh, you have the same thing going around the sleeve cuffs where it looks a little bit better. I, I really I really would love it. The collar would go all the way around and I think it would look a little bit better. But for a Roma jersey, it's actually quite bad and it still will get eight stars from me. Uh, Roma jerseys are usually wonderful. This one is not quite there. The away jersey, however, is probably the most spectacular jersey that we have in this year's Serie A uh, uh, with the big flash sash going uh, I love this one and note why I love it most the spawns is just printed over the pattern and there is no breaking up the pattern you see the flash going I absolutely like this this is a sharp looking jersey a uh, little bit outside of box very custom made very beautiful um, it is finally white we had last year grey one and, and so on so I really like that part as well 10 stars right out, out, out of the box. I really, really like this jersey. Uh, that is one that is definitely high on my list. I think here Nike really did something special that I love a lot. They also try something special with the third jersey. I don't have a better picture yet. Um, I was a little bit hesitant. The navy and then with the club's colors and especially the old Nike color. This is a 98. Uh, but I think I like the overall composition of the whole jersey. It's very well done. What I'm not so sure is that we need all those old crests in there. You have the ASR crest, you have the Wolf's crest, uh, Wolf's head crest on there. Uh, that is maybe a little bit too much, but overall it's very pleasing to look at. Uh, I want to see a better picture, but from all of us here, I would give this a nine star. Roma is always looking sharp, and this time that the home jersey is the worst one. That says a lot. We will end this video with the small uh, team from the Emilia Sassuolo, which play in uh, green and black and they use like what Barcelona had in 2017-18, I think. Um, we don't have the stripes, you have a center stripe and then it goes, it, it has, it's kind of a gradient. It's an interesting look, it has again the four color by Kappa, which I'm not so crazy, crazy about, but here actually it looks all right. Um, I overall do like this jersey, I have to say. Um, I also like only single sponsor. For a solo shirt, there's nothing wrong here. Uh, I, the sleeve curves with all couple shirts is a little bit weird that it's open on the top, but okay, so be it. Um, for a strong look, good look, low looking jersey, I think this is also an eight star. The away jersey, maybe it's a little bit too much green, but uh, a little bit too much Celtic Glasgow <laughs> in a way. Not that I have any uh, particular feelings to, uh, for or against uh, Celtic Glasgow, but you know, um, I like it's white. I would wish a little bit more white. I think the green is a little bit too dominant on there to make it a good away jersey. But other than that, nothing really wrong with that one. Um, the four color with the black on the front. It has a little bit of the Napoli with the shoulder yoke, but it's not accentuated, which is probably a smart thing here. Um, I think it's a seven star jersey. It looks all right. I'm a little bit worried with the contrast to the home jersey. And a third jersey is basically the same thing, but it, except uh, we have blue and dark blue. Fine. Nothing outstanding, but fine. Six stars. I think that's where we ended. Please drop a comment below and tell me what you thought about the jerseys in this video, especially whether you agree or disagree with my ratings. I would be very interested in that. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. Be updated with what I'm saying about current happenings in football, my jersey collection, whatever. Lots there, so I will surely talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all the news that are revolving in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day.